with head coach of the Royals, Kirk McDonald, on a very special night here at Santander Arena. This is David Fine on our Coach's Corner. And Coach, big night, ugly sweater jerseys, teddy bear toss, wheeling in town. What are the coaching staff's thoughts going into the, tonight's game? Obviously, uh, another big divisional game. It's pretty much all we're playing right now. So, uh, um, you know, any chance to move up in the standings, these points right now are, are obviously hugely important. And, uh, um, you know, back to back with wheeling, I think, you know, you want to kind of almost try and develop that mental edge uh, at this point and, and, and kind of build that confidence with a good start and, and try and, and make them believe that, you know, we're, we're going to win. You know, not just our guys believe they're going to win, but make sure Wheeling knows that, you know, it's, it's our, our, our game when, when they come into our building. 4 nothing win for the Royals in yesterday's game, and Mark Dekinich, the star of the game, despite the three quick goals in the first period, he gets named first star. He ties a career high with 50 saves. What was he doing well out there? He's great. He's seeing pucks and making making the first save. I think uh, so he made a couple of huge saves in the third period. I think obviously we were really good the first half of the game. I thought as a team, and you know, you go up four nothing, uh, you kind of start to sit back a little bit and. Uh, play a little bit more passively, which is kind of that you know human nature, I think. But Dex, Dex was dialed in because you know they get a couple quick ones there at the start of the third. It's a different game, so uh, uh, he was really good, and, and uh, you know he's he's been really good since Muse has gone up. Um, I know they were alternating starts basically the, the whole first start first part of the year, and now that he's kind of you know get, knows he's going in every night, he's kind of ran with it. It's the ECHL. There's a lot of roster moves, guys, going up and down. The Royals getting back a couple of key defensemen for yesterday's game that played uh, paid dividends. You had Loic Leduc returning from a three-game suspension. He plays a strong game. And then also uh, Frank Hora comes back, and he's a plus three. What was it like getting those two guys back in the lineup to solidify the decor? Obviously huge. Those are two guys that are you know elite defenders at our level. Obviously, uh, Leduc's played in the American League uh, last year and is a fourth-year pro. but. Uh, you know, he's a big body with a great stick, outstanding on the PK. You know, Frank's a young guy, but he, he doesn't play like one. He's outstanding, and uh, obviously um, his plus-minus kind of backs up how well he defends and moves pucks uh, towards the offensive end and uh, uh, makes it a lot easier when you've got D back there like that who, who can move pucks and defend. One of the toughest guys for the Royals, maybe mentally, he might not be in terms of the fights, is Matt Willows, who's also now the team points leader. He's five foot nine. he's about 190 pounds, two goals last night. And he seems not to really have stretches where he goes w uh, without getting points on the board, having that luxury of Willows on the back end. How do you think he does it? Uh, you know, he's um, obviously a, uh, you know, a little guy, but he doesn't play like when he competes. Um, he engages in battles probably better than most of our forwards, and he's the smallest guy on the roster. Um, you know, he wants to get to the front of the net and score goals from the hard areas. And, you know, he's going to score skill goals. He's a skilled guy, but he's not afraid to go to the hard areas that are going to, you know, that are going to reward you with, with goals here and there. So um, it's great to have a guy like that in your lineup. He plays mean and he's physical, um, but, you know, he's a skilled guy. So it's, it's, it, those guys are hard to come by. And uh, I guess we'll finish up on this. You know, it's the ugly sweater jerseys tonight. This was uh, one of the first ones the Royals wore back in the day. Uh, but with that being said, a new iteration of them tonight. A couple of them right behind us right here. Teddy Bear Toss having all these uh, ugly sweater jerseys. What do you think about them? That's a good tradition. Um, you know, it's probably the best uh, specialty jersey that uh, we do. And obviously, it's, we, we kind of started it five years ago. It was, it's our baby that uh, I know everybody else has copycatted us. But uh, um, it's great. and. Uh, looking forward to a good night. Any uh, bears from your family members tonight uh, in the crowd? Yeah, I believe my mother-in-law bought like, um, like, a lot off of Amazon <laughs> um, to throw in the stands or brought brought some. So that's all, all goes to charity. Goes going to the children, uh, the kids uh, over at the hospital. I think uh, uh, next week. So it's it's for a good cause. Coach, thanks again for the time. Anytime.